all right so today we are looking at how we can detect faces with the help of python libraries so there are so many uh, methods available so many libraries available but these are the three more most common that i want to talk about first one is har cascade second is face recognition and third is mtcnn so har cascade it is a functionality provided by opencv opencv is a library related to we can do all sort of image manipulation video manipulation and something some more things with this library so har cascade is a functionality provided by this open cv let me show you what is this and when we open this link we have these xml files available and there are so many things this we can say this xml file we have har cascade underscore i so for detecting human face we have this file har cascade frontal face default so by any means these are this thing is not related to deep learning or any kind of machine learning algorithms these are some hard coded values to detect faces so that's what opencv is doing here so from here we can download this file and i have already downloaded it and one more thing that we have to install the opencv also so we'll go straight into it and we'll try to detect i have this image on we'll try to make some prediction so we'll try to create bounding box around the face and let's see whether it this har cascade can detect the face or not so what we are doing is we are reading the image and then we are detecting by saying we are loading this xml file i have already downloaded it and i changed the name and i am saying cv dot cascade classifier so i am passing the xml file and then i am trying to predict something by creating by applying this method detect multi scale okay then we are returning the rectangle so uh, locations of the face so there can be many faces so that's why we are looping through and creating rectangles on the image and then we are simply writing this image to the file called detected.jpg okay so we'll say python first of all we have to cd into it so we'll say cd har cascade and we'll say python face detect.py and let's see we have detected.py here and we can see it has detected face correctly one thing that there is a parameter we can tweak is this minimum nibble we can tweak it if we try to make it some lower number it will give so many false positive let's see what we have it has created so see we can we have here so many false positive these these are not faces but har cascade is not a perfect thing to detect faces so that's why but if there is there are so many people and we want to detect uh, faces for all of them we can tweak this parameter but obviously this is not the perfect one but it works very quickly and second option is this fake face recognition library so we'll open it and see in the nine lines we are able to detect and draw bounding boxes around the faces so how this library works is we have to simply pip install face dash recognition so that's what we are doing so first of all we'll load the image file by saying this method and then we'll extract the face locations and then we'll loop through because there can be multiple faces and then we'll create the bounding box around it and write it to image file so we'll say cd dot dot and we'll change it to face underscore recognition to this folder and in this folder we'll say python detect dot py okay it took some time but it has detected and it has detected pretty well okay so that's all about face recognition library there there is there are more more functionalities you can actually create face embedding so we'll say face for face there are so many things we can see 
face landmarks face locations so that's what we use face encodings when we can extract and then we can compare it with other things so see we can compare faces by comparing face encodings of two images so that's we can do with this face recognition library and third one is mtcnn module so this one is a pretty heavy library because it needs tensorflow uh tensorflow or keras so that's uh, okay we are importing this library instantiating and creating uh, creating the object reading the image and then extracting the faces in the image and then creating the bounding box simple regular theme that we are following and then we'll say we'll cd into it also uh, which is this empty cnn module and then we'll say python face detect.py so see it is importing the tensorflow there's it must be see it has detected pretty correctly so it depends on the use case what you are doing for your particular task if you want a quick solution it this har cascade will work pretty fine but if you want more accuracy or more precision you will want to use these libraries you can experiment with these and see what works for you so the, it depends so how this can work mm, these face recognition face detection library actually are helpful uh, like we i was creating a mask detector so if i have some data i just want to pass the face to the neural network and then do some classification on it so that's why these kind of libraries are helpful so that's it for today that's all what i wanted to share and if you have any questions you can mail me directly or you can comment also please feel free to post your questions i'm here to help okay so thanks